As the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic continues around the world, there has been a growing call in South Africa for doctors to be allowed to use Evermectin to treat coronavirus patients. And presently, health authorities are making only it available for controlled use following the drug's initial ban by the country's health regulatory authority. But one of the civil rights groups that has been leading the fight for the use of the medicine, saying the drugs should not have been banned. The civil rights organization is also heading to court to make sure that the drug is widely available. Details in this report. Ivermectin is a drug that has been around for many years. It is used for the treatment and control of parasites in animals. It's also used to treat humans for several tropical diseases not commonly seen in South Africa. Recently, there have been public calls for doctors to be allowed to administer the drugs, but South Africa's health authorities are only making it available for controlled use. The drug was initially declared illegal by the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority. The regulatory authority warned that there's not enough scientific evidence around the use of the drug, both for safety and efficacy, to either treat or prevent COVID-19. But last month, after legal wrangles, the authority approved a controlled use of the drug on humans. But civil rights group AfriForum, an organization that has been spearheading the fight for the wide usage of the drug, says the drug should never have been banned in the first place. The group says ivermectin is currently a legally dispensable drug in South Africa due to a technical oversight by the regulatory authority. The question is, is ivermectin illegal, as has been alleged by many so far? The fact, and that question can be answered simply, it is not illegal. In fact, it's already listed as a Schedule Three medicine in the Medicines Act. It's been printed there. It's, uh, it's, it's true. It's, it's always been like that. At a media briefing, AfriForum announced that the South African drug regulator never published a notice in a government gazette to declare the drug illegal in the first place. This is a requirement as per the Medicines and Related Substances Act, necessitating registration of the drug. The act also requires that select medicines must be registered prior to any commercial activity. It's a legal medicine. It's it's listed in the Act, and in the absence of a call for registration, there is no further need uh, to legalize the medicine. It can be administered as we understand the Act. It is about giving medical professionals every tool possible in the fight against COVID-19 so that they can also honor the oath they took. In spite of this new information, AfriForum is still taking the fight to court to ensure the drug is widely available. We uh, had been to the urgent court and the urgent court granted an interim order that actually just allowed for the program to be recognized and to be given a chance. And that's where we stand at this stage with the application. They failed during this four, uh, 30 years to publish the notice inviting the public to register ivermectin. And with that being said, we believe that the whole legal challenge is now on a totally different footing. The group will now amend its court application to obtain a declaratory order that ivermectin is a legal schedule 3 medicine and readily available.